134 here, back with another episode of, or, well, new series, I'm sorry. My bad, I just got home from work, I'm really tired, but I'm just going to play for a little bit, and then get off and go probably lay down for a little while until my head is starting to hurt. <sighs> Anyways, welcome back to Captains of Industry, or Captain of Industry, as it says. <coughs> We're gonna go ahead and start a new game. I've already predetermined the uh, settings and all that, so we're gonna go and get we're gonna get started off. And, you know. I've not played this game in a while, so honestly, I expect a lot of things to be very different, which I'm okay with. I expect things to be severely different or changed. So, I mean, the last time I played this game for a long period of time, I played it for so long that I unlocked gas and I started using oil and making gas in my car. My vehicle has barely ever ran out of fuel. I finally had a fuel station, so I bought a gas station, or I built one, and I had like two fuel trucks to run around and refuel all the vehicles. Because I, at that point, I had a massive fleet of vehicles. Yes, I had a massive fleet of vehicles. All the waste rock and stuff was slowly being built up and taken and dumped into the ocean. Trash wasn't being dumped. I tried not to dump trash. I tried to build that up like on land somewhere. Look at this. Look at this. Way over here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What's this? No, that's not why. I, I need to remember how to play this. Uh. Uh, well, well, that's definitely not what I'm trying to do. What the? Oh, uh, layers. That's right, layers. Uh, sand. A lot of limestone. Limestone is all over this area. It's a good way to copper ore there, as well as a little bit of limestone, some iron ore. There's some oil over here, or coal. There's groundwater way over here, so that'd be a good spot to set up the oil. There's a big old thing of crude oil right there in the middle of the ocean, right there in the middle of the lake, so clearly we'll be setting up some kind of oil derrick or something way out there, probably. There's a little deposit way over here, but I'll probably end up making use of this massive deposit over here. But, right now, I need to set up a, um, yeah.
Alright, so we're gonna just fail in this area. Mark off all the other areas that are not in need of or can't be filled with trash. truck's gonna have to drive pretty far to get to the uh, dumping zone, but it'll be worth it for me. Because I'm gonna end up shipping a lot, of, a lot of stuff over here, including rock and stone. I'm gonna end up filling up this whole area with that. Sand will be pretty easy for me to acquire if I actually need it, because I can just kind of excavate one of these beaches. Even though I don't really know if I'm actually going to end up needing that, but whatever. Build a research lab. There we go. Well, I mean, I need a lot of stuff in order to actually, uh... This is basically all I need right now. That little bit of metal right here, we got bricks and we got a scrap, iron scrap. And trees are gonna be my, my main source of fuel for a while because I mean, I need to burn, I need to get rid of a lot of these trees. So cu constantly cutting down wood will eventually allow me to uh, move up all the way around the island. Eventually I'll be able to fill in this entire area with uh, rock and trash and stuff. Technically, if that real world found out about something like this, like, you know, OSHA or whatever, the ocean authorities or whatever, oh, they would like this whole company on fire. Whoever the hell these people are that are, like, uh, docked up here and they're uh, filling the atmosphere with raw vapors and stuff like that, whew, we would have already been on fire. Damn. 
let's go ahead and speed up time, clearly, because it's still gonna take some time. Oh look, it's about to rain. FS made it 54 in 1.8 months. Five months worth of food, that's pretty good. I mean, the only thing I can do is really just kind of wait. Usually, if once I get the irrigated, uh, ir irrigation farm with groundwater and whatnot, I usually just put like three storage tanks on it, like those things that fill up with bulk white pieces. I put three storage tanks with the little uh, thing on it that carries uh, resources, the resource belt on the edge of the potato farm and I constantly grow potatoes. Why? Because they're the easiest thing to grow. They take the less the least amount of time and they're the best. Generally speaking, they are the best thing to grow because they don't take nearly as long and you can trade them for other materials for with the local populace. Especially if you have like four of these things and they're all growing potatoes. You can trade potatoes for a lot of things usually.
There we go. I gotta sit here and baby doctor this with as many areas of squares as I could get my hands on. Build a maintenance depot. 
means all the maintenance, I won't even have to transfer it. I don't know why I didn't think of that originally. I could have easily done that. But I didn't. All the rock and stuff can be dumped. Yeah, obviously. All the dirt and all the rock and stuff is going away. All the slag and stuff. All the dirt, slag, and whatnot is going to be dumped, obviously. I'm not sure how they're able to justify dumping specific cargo out of a dump truck. That doesn't make very much sense, but whatever, fine. That totally makes... Totally makes sense. Trade bricks for wood. This will allow me to easily keep the production system going for quite a while. I need to remember remove this thing before I do anything else. I need to get rid of this uh, abandoned communication station. Uh, build another similar to produce additional construction parts. Seriously? Why? Why do I need more? I didn't understand. <laughs>
It'd be a good thing for me to use for bricks because clearly bricks are going to be a big thing. I wonder, can I, uh... Yes, I can. So often the potatoes will come around and they'll grow big and strong and then I'll have all the food I need for a long period of time. A very long period of time, in fact. as we brought over and slowly going up It would be best if I hurried up and delivered another set.
Well, I believe that'll be it for this uh, episode of this first episode of the new series of Captains of Industry or Captain of Industry. I'm gonna keep calling it Captains because it just sounds it, it rolls off my tongue better, and I'm just like. I keep calling it Captains of Industry, honestly, so I'm just going to call it that. It's easier. The title will be Captain of Industry. Anyways, if you liked this first episode of the new series of Captains of Industry, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.